management. Put them down about, I typically go there, just you know, about a half inch, three quarter inch down, slide them on like that. On Get each little, side? On each side. Because one's going to be positive, one's going to be negative. Yep. Slide them like that. I get my paper out, which, which is going to show Today's just going to be here. This is the bottom left panel. Bottom which, left. Uh, bottom right panel. Bottom right, okay. Which we'll go ahead and put number one on there. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and then fourteen. Okay? Mm hmm. So, positive left. The whole first run, all eight panels, positive left, negative right. All on the front or the back them. side? I mean, or wait, like. It's backwards. Remember what I said? Yeah. You're looking at, when you manage these, you're looking at the bottom of the panel. So, positive left. Okay, so this is the bottom right. of the panel. No, it's the top. Oh, it's the top, yeah, yeah. That's the right, right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're oh, right. Looking at this, it's from the roof. Mm -hmm. So, it's actually positive right on this. Yeah. But it's up here. So every one of these panels, one through eight, is going to be positive left, negative right, okay. all the way down. Find them. Yep. Okay. If you start doing those optimizers, Bryce, I'm gonna, I'll start numbering these things so I can get the optimizer in. Start on this side though. That way we can uh, start with that third one. That way we can. Um, I'm gonna start running that that side out first because it's a nice straight run. Okay. We should be able to knock it out. All right. So then now, positive left. Take the positive. Positive, it says it on there. Right there. Positive is oh, always okay. male. Positive is going to be the male. Oh, okay. Negative is going to be the female. I didn't know that. Okay. And it says it on, has a little negative sign right there. Yep. A lot of times it'll actually be on these. It'll say positive and negative on the little things, but since we're wrapping those up, you can't see them. And here, you, all you're doing is taking, putting male and female there. You don't have to. Yeah, they match yeah, up. Okay. So. so then you take this. I, I took them behind here, it doesn't really matter, it depends on how it's set up. Yeah. Like this one, you don't have to. But, same thing, you grab it, it's gonna spin the way it spins. Yeah. It started spinning this way, over under. Okay. And this one, you do three loops. Three loops? Are we doing, oh, we can do two. What do you think, Bryce? Two? Two. Two on the corners, on the left corner? Yep. Right. Yeah, we'll do two on this one. So the reason you go just like that. Oh, and that just holds it right there. And that's kind of, that's pretty much, that holds the, the loop up in there, that holds that. And that way you can just move this, snap them together at the top. Negative comes across, one loop over under, snaps in here. And then what we do, grab a zip tie, to hope I have enough today. Put a zip tie right here. That way that wire don't hang down. Put it up high on that, just like that. Nice. And then I just cut the zip ties. Go down through and cut them. And that's wire management right there. Now the reason you do over under is because, I'm gonna show you right here why you do over under on this panel. All right, Will, come here, watch. I'm gonna have you do these behind, behind Bryce. I'm trying to get my circle look like your circle. <laughs> Piss me off. <laughs> Maybe just pull that. If you, if you just get to get it close, Snap them together, then you can kind of adjust that circle. You know what I mean? Once you get them snapped, then you can adjust that circle. Some of these are old and they're loose because these panels are thinner. Sun techs are thick. These, these come off a sun tech job. I just squeeze them a little bit right there, makes them tight. All right, I was telling Will basically, you can go off that little notch. Mm -hmm. That's about where you want it. You just don't want it more than it is down, but you don't want it too high because then you won't be able to. It'll be too high to get that thing across there. So, these are all positive and negatives, like I was telling him. Mm -hmm. Grab it, pick it up. All you gotta do is grab this, pick it up. It's gonna spin. Typically, you want it to spin towards the corner. Okay. Which that's it's already gonna kind of hang that way if you twist it a little bit. Then you're gonna go over under. Pull it up like that. Put your thumb there in the corner, kind of, so you about see how high the knot's gonna be. And then you go over under again. Take that, you want to hook this first, the one this is coming from, it's the one you want to hook inside here. Because that keeps, keeps both that'll open. keep this tight. And then you just take that, you can hook them both really if you want to, but this one's the one you want to be loose. It's just like that. Cool. Okay. 
The reason you go over under is because if you go under over, when you pull that knot up, you see what's happening? Yeah, it's pushing it this way. It's out. Yeah. So it needs. That's why you go over under. So it keeps because it keeps it tight. The knot is behind and the thing sticks out. Yeah. And the other way, the thing goes in and knots this way. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So then you just lock that in right there. Zip tie. Oh shoot. Throw the zip tie on this. Up here close to the box. I don't know what the hell you call that box. It's just a freaking box. So you don't know, whatever you want. Yeah, box. <laughs> and it's a tie tie right there. Okay. Did you see that part right there? You saw me do that a while ago? No. All right. So these first two are ready to go. Getting these managed like this. He's going to be doing that, you're going to be doing this. Hey, Bryce, this side of the bottom, dude. Yeah. You want the knot to be behind it. So check it out. Once you get them connected, and also when you connect these, you want these to be connected. I want this loop to be spun underneath too. Kind of let them go in the flow that they're already going. So check it out. They, they're already kind of twisted this way. Mm -hmm. So that's the way you want to make them, that's the way you want to connect them. So you want to pull these back here and you want to go ahead and twist them, keep that twist this direction. Because what that does is it pulls everything underneath the optimizer so it helps it hold it up like that. Okay. And then when you zip tie, you're gonna have the top knot to zip tie. That way you're pulling this down, you're getting that tight, and you zip tie it here. That way everything's above, basically right behind the optimizer. So nothing's sticking out. That's the whole reason we're doing this, right? Because we don't want anything sticking out. Yeah. Like yesterday, you saw the stuff hanging down and sticking mm -hmm. out everywhere, it's because they didn't do this. They had their knots, their, their knots were like right here. And that weight of that knot's gonna be, it's gonna make it hang because the knot's just, all that clumped up stuff is right here, just hanging there. That's why we do it behind like that, because it kind of helps keep it hidden up in there. All right, so Nick, uh, I mean Will, I'll tell you what, we'll go ahead and work on these also, and that way I can start over these panels and stuff. Okay. So work on just getting, uh, work on doing what he's doing. You want to see it again? Here, one more time. One more time, you do the next one. Cut those loose. I'll let you use my cutters. Try to put these somewhere. In your okay. Sure, pocket anywhere. Just that way we're not having to pick them all up later. Pull them down. Grab them. They're probably going to spin that way already, which is good. You want these tight across here. You right. don't want you don't want like one of them all loose and stuff. You want them pretty much tight. So you kind of pull them across, over under one time. Pull it down. Tuck them behind. These are gonna connect just the only way they can connect. Positive negative, positive negative, make sure you hit the click. Drag that down. If these are loose at that point, then you can kind of adjust that knot to where they're tight. Right. Run your zip tie through. You can do it whichever way you want. I just do it that way because it's easier to hold it while you're doing it. Zip tie through. Get those pretty much behind it, and then just pull tight, just like that. Always do it on the rubber, because that rubber is going to keep that thing from sliding around. Okay. And don't pull too hard. Well, you'll know, if you break a zip tie, then you'll know how hard you not to pull next time. <laughs>